Friday. Welcome back to the vlog. Y'all caught me on a rare day. Actually, I mean, you didn't you didn't catch me. I videotaped myself, so I'll take that L already. 11 a.m. right now. I got up at like 6.30 this morning, so I've been working since, since around that time. And I got basically all my work done for the day. Answered any client stuff I had to deal with, got the marketing stuff done, and since it's Friday, I'm pretty much done with all my content, fantasy football-wise, for the week. So I'm gonna take advantage of this day right now. I'm heading over to the beach. I am gonna get a workout in, though. I'm tired, I'm sore as hell from working out with my friend G. Highly suggest you guys follow her on Instagram. She's also starting her own business. She's opening up like an online personal training website, which is awesome. So follow her on Instagram if you're looking for an online personal trainer. And my upper body and my core is super sore right now so I'm not gonna get like a bodybuilding workout in my lower back is killing me not in like a good like my lower back muscles are sore it's like a like a 25 going on 75 kind of feeling so I'm gonna run down to the beach after I'm done talking to y'all a half mile run and then when I get there they have stairs going up and down the beach which are pretty pretty high and I'm probably gonna do stair sprints I did them last week and they were really good workouts so I'll probably do like 10 to 12 of those and then I'll go chill on the beach I brought a book I brought my speakers until maybe four or five and then I'll see if we're going to get rowdy with the boys I'm not really sure what we're doing this weekend I know it's the fucking army navy game and all these guys are in the marines a lot of them came from those schools so it gets probably crazy tomorrow during the day we might head down to pacific beach and hit the bars during the day i know like a lot of people ask me well not really a lot of people but some people here and like my mom and some family members are like are you able to get all your work done while you're here right like are you productive are you still working it's like obviously i have to work for the most part yeah because my roommates are out of the out of the house like eight to five eight to six every day so that'd be my normal work hours i would say on the weekends it definitely gets a little harder because like everyone's done with work it's fucking 75, 80 degrees and sunny and people are trying to do stuff. So like, hey, let's go to the beach, let's go out or whatever. If I don't have like a lot of stuff to do, if I don't have a, an immediate to-do list, then I'll, you know, most of the time I'll be like, hey, yeah, let's do it. So that's kind of put a little damper in my productivity, but overall I'd say I'm fine here. I'm getting close to the beach, so I'm gonna put you into my bike pike and I'm gonna, I'm gonna run down there and do some sprints. We're seven in. I'm gonna do five more, 12 all together. Tired as a mother f fudger. This is when you gotta push though. When you're tired, that's how you break plateaus. I think I might pass away. Let me catch my breath. That's 12 sprints, probably more from up and down to get the fucking camera. Less than 15 minutes, it was like 14 minutes, 30 seconds. That's how quickly you can get a good workout in. So it's never an excuse not to get one in. You could do this hit workout on stairs, you could do it on a treadmill, you could do it anywhere. Anywhere that you could push yourself cardio wise on a bike, elliptical, running on the beach, running on the street. Find a local track in your fucking town at the high school. That's it, I'm about to go enjoy this weather on the beach though. The water looks kind of gray, probably from all the smoke and stuff that came in last night. This is it right here, baby. Get a little tan action going. I don't know how the rules of tanning work. Better come back to Jersey with like a fucking tan. I'll feel like a fraud. This is easily Post Malone's best song ever created. I fall apart. That's saying a lot. No, I actually fuck with Post Malone. He's talented. See, he can sing his own hooks. Like, listen to this. When you call me up, He's got a good voice, you know? What's up, little man? Balling. <laughs> Feeling like I sold my soul. Big Sean and Metro Boomin dropped last night at midnight. This is my third tattoo. I don't know if I ever showed you guys this. Or is that my fourth? One, two. Yeah, it's my fourth. That was my first one, but it's one of four. Boy, boy. Shout out Big Sean.
So it's like four o'clock or four thirty. I don't know on Monday. So I got a free three day pass to Twenty Four Hour Fitness. All the gyms here are awesome. They all have like outdoor areas so you can work out outside. It's always nice here. So I finished that three day pass. Started on Saturday. I went to Starbucks for the rest of the day. I have to keep working after I do this, but I just want to get a quick, uh, quick bite to eat. Literally, I'm just making chicken, lean turkey. This stuff. I've been buying like a pre kind of seasoned or pre flavored. Like the Italian season and taco meat, because it just tastes a lot better and I don't feel like marinating and doing that shit all my, on my own. That's the first thing I noticed. All the normal stuff that, that your parents and your mom keeps in the house, whether it's like fruits or just snacks and all this random shit, just don't have here. I swear, I'm, we're on like a legitimate, like a straight protein diet. I'll eat for breakfast, like eggs, for lunch, chicken and beef, for dinner, chicken and beef. It's actually kind of out of control, to be honest with you. I'm not really mad about it. It doesn't like leave room for bad food in your diet unless you're going out of your way to order food, which we've done a bunch too, I guess. But when financially, you know you have to be a little smarter and you have to save money on food, you're not gonna be going out and splurging on like random shit at the supermarket. Stick to the meat, stick to the basics, we're gonna cook up a little bit. How many eggs? Oh, I only have two eggs, god damn it. We're gonna have to start stealing motherfuckers' eggs. Woo! Steal some eggs from somebody. Sorry, Jack, probably you. One of my roommates that ass eats Probably 19 eggs a day, and 14 packets of oatmeal, and that's his whole diet. It's actually incredible. Kid's a fucking beast, too. He does, does CrossFit. The most aesthetic looking human being I've ever encountered. Great guy. Young broke boy. Young broke bitch, but good guy. Shout out to you, Jack, if you watched. First off, my friend's car doesn't have a fucking aux cord, so I brought the boomstick. That's what we're calling it now. The UE Boom 2, officially renamed the boomstick. On my way down to Point Loma. I'm checking out the second apartment out here in California. Now, Point Loma is about 30 minutes. Supposedly, the traffic on here is about to be, I'm about to be introduced to some California traffic right now. I couldn't see the house until like 5 p.m., so what are you gonna do? 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 Man, I miss the Sopranos. Point Loma is basically right outside the actual city of San Diego, like downtown, which is a very cool area. So hopefully the neighborhood's in a good spot. Like hopefully there's a lot of cool shit around it. It's gonna be farther away from where my friends live, obviously, but it's okay. And ideally, I mean, it's still up in the air whether whether or not I'm gonna move out here. I'm not really sure yet. I mean, I'm coming home in a week from today. So if you're watching this on Saturday, I'll be leaving three days from now because I come home on Tuesday the 19th. Ideally, if I am gonna come back out, out here and live here for at least, you know, six months or a year, I would lock down an apartment or know where I'm gonna live prior to my flight home. That's the plan right now, kind of see as many apartments as possible. I'll show you the apartment in a second. All right, so this is the, the area, it's a neighborhood. for 2821, so it's like an apartment complex. And I believe we're apartment four. I mean, it's always swaggy when you got bamboo going on. This is four right here, so we'd be on the bottom floor, surfboards and whatnot. Got some surfer bros up in here. I'm just creeping around because I have to wait like another half hour for the, the landlord to get here, so. So yeah, I have to wait another 30 minutes for the landlord to get here. So I'm gonna uh, probably drive around the neighborhood and see what's here. Grocery stores, restaurants, gym, how close it is to the beach, all that good stuff. Marina, I guess you could say. It's literally, it's like the block around the corner. I'm not a bay guy though. I need to know where the, where the beach is at. That's what I'm saying. So we'll keep creeping. So that could not have been a worse fucking idea. I'm driving around. I see a light go on, like the smoke, I don't know, like heat light or some shit. And uh, I pull the car over and it starts smoking. I'm like, holy shit. I don't know the first thing when it comes to cars. The front starts smoking like crazy. All this shit starts dripping down. I think it's fucking oil, fluid, 
fuel, dude, I don't know what it is, but I'm freaking the fuck out. I think this thing's about to blow up. So I get out, I'm letting it cool. I, th I think it just overheated. So now I'm waiting for AAA to come. And I was supposed to be at the apartment six minutes ago, and now I just look like an idiot. Things went downhill very quickly. Dropped the car up the mechanic. They're closing now, so I have to pick it back up tomorrow. I don't know how I'm gonna go get it. The estimate came out to $500. Apparently a water cooler broke or some shit. I'm out of fucking wings and things right now. I didn't even know this was a place until I just saw it. Waiting for my friends to get out of there, whatever they're doing at eight o'clock, so. This is not how I imagine my night going. We're still gonna prosper though. Last night, <clears throat> It was arguably the biggest shit show of all time with that car. So we got it to the mechanic. The shop was closing, so I had to leave it there. I have to go back down today to, to go pick it up. The guy said he'll call me by the latest 10 o'clock. It's 10.10, so line number one, huge fraud. I'm expecting more news about how 17 other things are broken within the car. I did not get to uh, see the apartment, obviously, but there were a couple other apartments in the area that I can go probably check out today. So. What I'm gonna do is talk to the landlords of those apartments. So when I go down to pick up the car, I'm gonna have to take the coaster down. That's what they call like the train system here. I'm gonna see if I could stop at those other apartments to check them out. Coaster's actually kind of dope because it rides along the coast and the entire view is like right on top of the ocean, which is dope. So I'm just finishing up the weekly fantasy video that I put out every either Wednesday or Thursday, depending on, you know, it's already Wednesday afternoon, so I'm probably not gonna get it out today, but possibly tonight, but. I'm working, eating some oatmeal, some eggs. I'll tell you, my roommates turned me into an egg guy. I'm an egg guy. I'm officially a tea guy too now. Otherwise, all in all, good spirits, good stuff. I'm gonna miss, I'll be home in a week from today. What am I gonna miss them? I'm gonna miss, obviously, the sunsets, the sunrises, because they're just beautiful. It's just great to walk out and like see that view when you walk out in the morning, right? It just sets the day off to a good fucking tone. I'm gonna miss, obviously, the guys here living with them, like as roommates. Those hours when everyone gets home from work from like seven to 10 are like the, those are like the fun hours, right? Like, you know how people who play sports, like when they're done with sports, they say the things they miss most about it aren't actually the games or winning or any of the accolades or anything like that. It's always like the locker room after the game or the bus rides home and shit like that. That's kind of what like this is. I guess in a comparable sense, right? Like me going back home, I'm gonna miss out on the times where we're just chilling, sitting on the couch, like bullshitting from like seven to 10 before we go to sleep. And those are the fun times, so I'll miss that. I also just miss there's so many places for me to just like relax and clear my head, whether it's the beach, going for a bike ride, just sitting outside, you know, just wherever. I don't know, I can't do that when I'm at home. I can't just like walk outside and go wherever I want to, right? Cause I'm just in a small little suburban town. I look like a cycle from riding my bike around or walking around. There's no beach there. It's like 22 degrees when I'm home. But I am I am a little excited to get home for sure. I miss my my mom. I miss my family, my fr my friends, of course, my best friends. You know, there's a couple other loose ends I probably need to tie up if I am gonna come back here. But we'll see how it goes. I'm taking it day by day. It's still up in the air whether or not I'm gonna move out here. So I gotta see what happens when I get back home. There's always time for me to move here or somewhere. Take it slowly. So we got the car back. I'm actually at a new apartment I'm about to look at. The neighborhood looks awesome. The beach is right down that street over there. I'm about a block away. Way, so I'll take y'all with me. So we got three available. Ready? Thank you. So I'll show y'all three. Is there a difference between the three? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Price-wise, I'm probably looking at the least expensive one. This, if the prices change, but yeah, let's start with eight. There we go. So this one's gonna be. We're hoping ready by the beginning of the month of January. Um, they're gonna redo the floor on this, so. There you go. So this is gonna be the last one available. Uh, probably pushing back the latest possible. So like. Okay, so this may work out. Mid to late January. Okay. One bathroom, two bedrooms. Yep. Two bathrooms. It should be two. Yeah. I didn't look around yet. Okay. Right off the uh, Oh, okay. So this master. is bad. Gotcha. <laughs> so this is the newest one. Gotcha. It's a little more spacious. Yeah, it's about uh, 50, 50 more square feet. Oh, uh, you found it? Yeah, we got it over here. Okay. This is more updated. It has a walk in shower rather than a tub.
showtime, bro. Hey, but, uh, I'm chilly as hell. You don't mind if I video saving you, right? Heck no. What's up? We just had a lot of people do that. Smell it. Yeah. Huh. All right. So we got. Give me the breakdown real quick. I'm sorry. I've been seeing a few apartments. So. No, you're fine. So you've got two bedrooms, um, built-ins in the closet, cool. both of them. Brand new closet doors, closet frame, brand new floor. Um, baseboards just got finished. It's wired for cable. Brand new ceiling fans. The bathroom was completely gutted, okay. and then they redid everything. So brand new toilet, you'll be the first to sit on it. <laughs> brand new shower, first in the shower. Got extra closets, storage. Cool. And for us out here, I don't know, you said you've been at a lot of beach places? Not a lot of beach places. I've just been looking at apartments and stuff. So I just talking about just like, give me the breakdown of money and the rooms and shit that we've got. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. In the place, so. This is kind of a nice, little storage, nice cool. Good. And of course, built-ins on this side as well. All right, so this is the second apartment I'm looking at. I kind of videotaped it upstairs. I'm actually in the downstairs one. The landlord's cool as hell. My phone's about to die. I have no idea where I am, so I have to charge it. So he let me just chill in here and charge my phone. Upstairs one's completely remodeled, so it's like new hardwood floors and like everything looks way nicer. But this is the basic gist of the apartment. We got the kitchen, pretty spacious. We got living room, you're not gonna be able to see it here because there's no lights in here yet. Then we move over to bedroom number one, big ass closet. Bedroom number two, another big closet. Uh, a couple closets for storage. And then the, there's one bathroom again. One upstairs is way nicer. Everything's like remodeled, new shower, new toilet. The place seems super chill, it's awesome. You probably can't really see it right here, but this is the view outside. It's just beautiful looking, this doesn't do it justice. Literally the sunset looks like a pic that like complex or like hype beast would use on their Instagram. It, it's just like a little community. There's eight apartment units in this little apartment place. Basically, he dude is so chill. He only like handpicks people that he likes to to get accepted into it. And he said everyone's basically with from my age up to like 30 years old. This is like one of those feelings when you just get the right vibe about something. And it's like three blocks away from the beach. It's two thousand dollars a month. So we'd be splitting it, me and my roommate, which is definitely the max I'd want to pay for an apartment. Two thousand. That includes water trash sewage I think but it does not include electricity or cable or anything like that so that would be extra on top of it and this is like one of those things where you're like Ugh, I don't know if I could really like afford it like should I do it but at the same time you're like I love it so much that I'll be able to push myself to make enough money to live here like the lifestyle and the value you're gonna get extracting out of it is worth the money that you're gonna put into it this place is fucking dope. It's right next to a gas station. There's a deli, liquor stores. That two place around the corner, I saw that. That might be fucking bad news if I live here. My roommate couldn't come, so I'm gonna have to talk to her later today and let her know the two places I saw. But this is uh, this is a dope spot. So I'm in a little beach town called Encinitas. Really cool town, actually. I should probably stay and walk around, but came here for one reason, one reason only. Your boy got. A little more inky. I'll show you guys probably in a couple hours when I take the, the wrap off what I got. I'm actually super excited, it looks pretty cool. So this is the final tat. I actually really like how it came out. I mean, it's a little basic, I guess, with like the heart pulse, because I've seen a lot of people with that before. But this is it, a heartbeat monitor, and it just says living at the end, man. Just out here living. We living. Back at the cribbo, finishing up some marketing work. Not finishing up, but I'm kind of starting it, and that will be the rest of the day for me, pretty much. I do my reports every week, and I send them out to the clients, which is what I'm doing now. Boring stuff, whatever. And there's one more week of fantasy football content, which I am so thankful for. I don't have to be writing up blog posts and videos Monday to Thursday. Ooh. What a season it was, man. That was, I didn't think I was gonna be able to put up content every single week. That much content for that that consistent of a, of a time period. But I did it and I'm proud of myself, man. Because I don't think a lot of people can do that on their own, what I did throughout this whole season while juggling traveling, while juggling my marketing work. You know, just a lot of different stuff going on. So it was, uh, just I'm just out here living, man. But no, that was a crazy year. Interesting to see how everything worked and how everything grew. And now it's gonna be much easier next year because I have great, let me put you on my water bottle. Wow, I don't know how that. And now I have a great process right to go off of like I know what days I should be doing what I know how much work needs to be put into what so I'll have an easier schedule and I'll have an easier time in my head knowing where and what I need to be doing so that was a good learning process for me this entire year as a whole so I'm looking forward to this break from the fantasy football content but at the same time I know that's when the most of my growth comes via YouTube so 
you know, I kind of want to get back into it as soon as possible. And the season, I guess, pretty much starts back up as soon as, I mean, I'm going to be putting out stuff throughout the off season. I don't really know what, but it's definitely not going to be anywhere near as consistent as it was during the season. Pretty much as soon as the draft comes, the NFL draft comes in April, that's like right back into the season. It's a little three month hiatus. It's like my summer vacay and I'm excited to get back home and be done with it all. So that's that. And this is going to wrap up the episode. So I hope you all enjoy your weekend. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'll see y'all next Saturday. Keep on living, baby. Adios.